All right. Hello, everybody. Um, I am back with a very delayed haul from um, my trip that I took um, to Hawaii. I came back from Hawaii with a lot of uh, these items that you're seeing, and I'll go through these a little bit more in detail. Um, but I spent two weeks in Hawaii and it was a fantastic trip. I did great. And I came home for about a week and I worked a week um, back at home and ended up getting a cold. And I was really, really sick, did not feel well. And so it's taken me um, a good couple weeks to uh, just kind of recover from that cold. Um, I had an ongoing cough and just a lot of um, stomach issues along with it. So cold, flu, whatever it was. Um, but I don't feel like I got it from my trip. I felt like I got it after I got home. Um, so, and then, you know, it just kind of creeped into Halloween and then into Thanksgiving. So it really has taken me a long time to get back into not only um, filming, but also a lot of time to get back into thrifting, taking photos and listing stuff. And video is probably the last thing on my list. So <laughs> it's, um, it's a couple days after Thanksgiving and I finally feel like I'm settled and I can get back on track and I know that probably for fourth quarter I'm going to be out of um, out of sales here because um, a lot of the stuff that's in my store I've had listed for quite a long time so I know I probably need to go out and cull some items out of there and probably just redonate those um, and a lot of the new inventory that I've been buying, I don't have listed, and it's just because it's taken me so long to get back into the swing of things. So this has probably been the longest break that I've had um, in listing probably for a good couple years. So, and I've taken vacation, taken breaks, and then come, you know, right back within a week and just have been back on track but this time it it took me a while and I'm just gonna blame it on on timing and getting sick and uh, just doing a lot between work and taking some time here to recover and then get through part of the holidays so I've got a small haul here for you these are all items that I um, either thrifted or purchased on consignment while I was in Hawaii. Um, a lot of these items I really picked up from maybe like two or three different stores. And um, all right, I'll get started and I'll go through these each one individually. Okay, so the first two items that I have, I bought at, it's a brand new Goodwill in Waikoloa. Um, it was, it's a really nice store. It's, it's not big, um, you know, but it's not the smallest Goodwill that I've been in. So um, it was nice. They had quite a few clothing items and I did pick up some of those. I'm not going to show those on video. Um, but one was a Hawaiian shirt, and then I got, strangely, some Victoria's Secret items. One of them was new with tag, and then maybe like a, an older Victoria's Secret tank top. Um, and then I got like a little Oshkosh baby overall. It's not a denim one, it's just a regular cotton one, but um, it looked like it was selling for somewhat decent price, so I went ahead and picked it up. Um, but these first two items, these are Tito's vodka um, handkerchiefs. And so I went in September. So these, you know, I specifically picked up because they were black and orange. And um, 
the buying cost was, you know, a couple dollars on these and I didn't look them up, but there's actually quite a few listed and some of them have sold, but um, the two I have, I did get listed before Halloween, um, but these have not sold. Um, but I'll just go ahead and continue to keep these in my shop. They're brand new, never used, still in package, um, and they're good, good Halloween items. So um, I'll just I'll just keep them listed. Um, also, could cross over into like bar bar items. Um, I know it's kind of a stretch with a handkerchief, but um, still has advertising for Tito's vodka on there. Okay, and then I did pick up quite a few um, sewing kit items. Um, I, st as you can see, I still have to um, open these up and go through these, but these look like they're new um, in package. There are four of these, and um, these are a silk cushion cover and you paint these yourself um, well this one looks like it was opened um, but I think a few of these other ones are are still new they haven't been opened um, but I'll go through all of these and um, but as you can see there's there's like instructions here for watercolor um, and a couple of these are, I believe, scarves, and then a few of them are the um, pillow pillowcase coverings. So I thought these were really neat. I looked them up online. They do sell very well, um, and they are 100% uh, silk. And um, I paid $3.99 for this package of four, so they're, they're really basically a dollar a piece. Um, but I'll just go through them and make sure that they are new in package. And then this item, um, this this has been obviously opened and rebagged, um, but this was three ninety nine, and. Um, I bought these before, the ones that are um, pre-printed, and then you have like a little bit of stitching that you do on them. Um, so this one is called the Teapot Cupboard. Uh, finish size will end up being 12 by 15 inches. Um, and I'll just go through and make sure that all of the items are included. Like the pre-printed fabric I know is in there, the floss I know is in there pearl cotton I think that's how you say that the metallic filament floss separator and then typically these have a needle but I don't see that listed on here but um, I think this one when I was looking at it it probably sells for about 18 to 22 dollars and I picked it up and set it down and looked at the price and it was only four dollars so I thought well you know I've got teapots in my shop. Those don't sell very well, but a sewing kit with teapots might be kind of fun. So, um, and I think it's a lot of just the pre-printed piece. I don't know. Those just typically don't sell very well for me, but um, I thought this was kind of pretty and I'll go through it and get some pictures and just make sure everything's in there and get that listed. Okay, and then the next thing, I did also get um, several dogs. Um, I've got five here, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, yep. Um, and they were all up at the front checkout and I w missed them. I saw them after I had already paid and I was already on my way out and ended up going back the second day to get um, the dogs and I picked up a few more pieces um, mostly I think sewing materials and the dogs so um, 
This, I think, is a Boston Terrier. It just looks large. It almost looks like the size of um, like a Great Dane size. But this one, I believe, was $5. Um, he's in pretty good shape. There's a few little chips on the bottom and I think um, a little nick on the ear that's not too bad. And then um, maybe some manufacturer slips in um, the paint, but um, really good shape. No breaks or cracks or repairs. Um, he's got all of his little appendages, his paws and his head and his ears are all still original. There is no um, marking on this, but my guess is most likely Japan just based on the quality. Um, kind of this airbrushed paint, um, the weight of it, and it looks like there was probably a paper sticker here um, that's since long gone, but he's a pretty good size. Um, you know, I think he ended up measuring out about four or five inches in length, um, probably a couple inches in height. Um, but I already have him listed and he's also featured on my Instagram page. So, um, and I am trying to add in some items for um, selling. So I do have him listed for purchase on Instagram as well as on eBay. Um, but he's really, he's got a sweet face. Little pink ears really sweet I like him maybe I'll keep him over here um, and then I do have this guy he is um, a red wear piece and you can tell by the bottom um, that red red coloring of the clay or pottery um, and he's probably a little boxer puppy maybe I'll have to do some research on his species, but, um, or his breed, but he's, he's really cute. Um, his face, it's very dark here on camera, but, um, it's really, it's sweet. It's, you know, he's kind of giving you that side glance, but, um, he lays, um, lengthwise on his side and he's got his feet up and just really cute um, so like I said this one I haven't researched I probably paid about three dollars for him maybe four um, she kind of there weren't any prices on them so she kind of just gave me prices based on size so this one actually might have been four um, but probably about 15 to 18 for this one um, but I'll comp him out and see see what he's looking like um, and then this guy this is I would probably say a beagle um, just based on the nose and the ears and the coloring um, and again He's not marked. He probably looked like he had a paper label at one time. And then there's a 15 here. That looks pencil. Um, so maybe they were trying to sell him at a yard sale. But um, again, no chips or cracks on any of these. And I, I really shouldn't say chips. No cracks or breaks or repairs on any of these. This one has paint. Um, you know, that's obviously worn off on it. But... For him, I really don't see any major or any chips at all, really. Um, so I'll probably, um, I'll comp him out, but I'll probably do pricing up to $15, but he'll probably sell more for like um, in the $11 to $12 range. But really sweet. All the puppies are sweet, right? <laughs> And then I got um, this little guy. He 
he really does look like a cocker spaniel to me and I'm just saying that because of the ears the ears look longer and probably like a wavy curly hair his coloring um, just the short stature and the body length um, the face paint is a little thick it's not quite so detailed or refined um, but again no oh no here's one that has been repaired I probably should have left him behind I did not see that probably because of the coloring um, so this one has been glued back um, so I will put that in the listing hmm that's too bad um, but he's not marked um, no other chips you know like I said other than that leg that's been re-glued on so um, <laughs> it's just kind of reminding me of the light box of truth but I should have seen that with um, just the naked eye uh, but he's cute he probably measures about two to three inches in length and maybe an inch and a half in height and for him with the damage I'll probably only get um, maybe up to 12 but probably less than that maybe like seven or eight for him and then the last one that I got um, this is a sweet I would say cocker spaniel puppy again just based on the ears and the face is super sweet on this one eyelashes eyelashes on fleek <laughs> um, but again no no marking on the bottom mm, again most likely Japan this one is a little bit heavier in weight I'm thinking this is probably a little bit more modern than the other ones that I've shown and I don't see any chips no repairs on this one some dust dust in the ear but really cute sweet face and um, she probably measures about you know with those eyelashes it has to be a she <laughs> um, but she probably measures about two inches two and a half inches in height um, maybe two inches in width um, inch and a half so for her, um, I'll, I can probably get up to 16 for her because um, she's really sweet looking, but she is a smaller piece. Um, all right, so I'll leave the little puppers in the background. Okay, so then I went to a consignment shop and um, it's called Treasure Junction and the lady that runs the place I've talked to her before I've actually shopped at her place in one previous location and then the same location that she was in um, about a year ago and she's really nice and this time I talked to her for like a good 30 45 minutes and she told me that she actually sells on consignment which I never realized um, and she had just done a large sale right before I came in she was writing it all up and it was like a sheet of items so I ended up getting actually four pieces from her um, the fourth piece it was this sweet soft green um, little pottery pitcher and she wrapped all of these items up in bubble wrap for me and then she put this nice blue painter's tape that's not really sticky on them and um, that picture was the first one that I opened and the lip of it was chipped off um, which just really disappointed me because that was probably um, the item that I paid the most for and it, you know, it was $25, which for me, that's paying up for items quite a bit because I try to stick to like a two, three, four, five dollar buy in on items. But I just really like that piece and it was signed. So 
Um, I do have the piece and I'm going to glue it back on, but I will probably just end up keeping that piece. So, and right now I've got it up in the windowsill of my kitchen. So, um, I don't have that here, but I am going to go ahead and open up these other items and, um, this first one sorry for the noise and I did get a new mic so hopefully the audio is better and you may not appreciate it now but I'm ripping tape off of <laughs> items oh goodness so this first item it's a heart shaped um, trinket box And trinket boxes are kind of hit and miss for me so um, this one has some koi fish on it and it's like in that wood inlay um, you know there is some color that's coming off of it on the scales but um, it's looks like an older piece I mean these I used to see a lot of them in the 80s um, but this one looks a little bit older and you know it has like this silk pink silk on the inside it's dirty it's worn but I'll put that in the um, description and you know some people like that and I've never seen one like this and um, I just think it's really neat with the koi fish and um, the inlay pieces on here so really sweet and this this just because of the condition uh, probably 12 to 14 on this one and I'm seeing that there's missing pieces here so again this one I probably should have just left behind um, I need to take a, a better look at these things her store the lighting was kind of dim in her store and I was just trying to get a few things purchased um, it was the last day that I was there and I was getting ready to jump on the plane and I knew that this would be lightweight and pretty sturdy but um, just you know kind of seeing the condition I probably should have left it behind but I'll still list it just um, probably won't make any profit on it because I think I probably paid about 10 bucks for it Uh, but her her store it's been kind of hit and miss on um, you know even though they have hours posted you don't really get to um, they're they're not consistent with hours so. I've been there a couple times where they haven't been open and then I had to go back um, but this this time um, I only made two trips the first trip she was actually not open the first time I went over there even though she was supposed to be open and then the second time she was there and I spent a good hour in the shop with her um, so again this is another trinket dish this is wood um, it's a little bird carved wood piece I don't know it's kind of a maple color but I doubt this is maple this is probably some type of um, carved wood trinket piece but this is really this is sweet um, you know it's lidded and it has some green felt in the bottom you know and again there's a little bit of wear to this but um overall in really good condition and could be a good jewelry trinket box um, for the holidays 
So yeah, it won't stand up like that. So you do have to lay it down like that. But that piece will probably get about 12 to 15 for it. Okay. And then this was the the last piece that I got from her shop and it is a pottery piece and so I hope it made it in one piece yes it did okay good deal I was really worried about buying pottery pieces because I knew I had to get it into my carry-on and wasn't too excited about carrying the extra eight and then making sure it got home safe and obviously the pitcher didn't make it but um, this little trinket dish did and this is actually signed on the back looks like DBK so somebody's initials um, but I just like the color of it and um, the design it's kind of a raspberry purpley blue color um, and then it has some raised circles dots um, so it could be a nice little trinket jewelry dish ring holder um, or you could even probably put it in the bathroom to hold um, some hand soap or something but really pretty and this piece I probably won't be able to identify it but I will uh, look it up and see I don't see there looks like other marks on the bottom but I think they're just indentations um, I'll see if I can find a name or an artist to match up with it, but probably not just based on initials. And this piece I can probably get um, up to $18 for this one. Okay. And then um, back to the Goodwill, I um, I did pick up some sewing items, some sewing kits. There's um, this one is obviously almost completed, actually. It looks like it's probably a bluebird or a blue jay. Oop. And um, I have a hard time leaving these pieces behind because I know a lot of times people won't. Uh, pick them up but um, I actually do cross stitch I don't have a lot of time to do it but I can do it and my mom also does cross stitch and uh, like I've said all sorts of embroidery um, very very well much better than I do um, but this was $2.99 so you know I figured this is just gonna be an easy piece and then all the thread looks like it's all bagged individually the instructions were in there so I figured you know I can try to list it as is or I can finish it or yeah you know, I can even offer it to my mom and see if she wants to finish it but I have a hard time leaving these behind because I know they're probably not gonna get picked up um, and then here's you know another situation similar one and this one I got this because I think this is some type of geisha or um, lady holding a fan here and the stitch work is just very tight very clean very even and um, Again, oh, here it is. Here's the picture on the front. Yeah. Really pretty. Um, so it does look like a geisha. Let me see if there's a name on this one. Okay, so this is... Um, Design Works brand and it's called Asian Splendor yeah and so she's kind of hiding behind the fan but um, you know it's really 
really a pretty piece and so again I might try to list it and see if it'll sell the finish size is 9 inch by 22 so it's it's gonna be this longer rectangle size um, and a lot of times these will have a date on them I don't see a date on this one. Um, but I'll try to finish it or um, offer it to my mom. But again, this one was $2.99. And I think they had them priced lower because they had been their open kits. But again, this one, and I could, you could kind of tell they were probably all donated by the same person or family. These are all bagged out, all the individual threads, so it should be really easy for me to tell if everything is included in the kit. Um, all right, and I think that's pretty much everything that I got from um, my vacation trip. So now I can get caught up on getting these these other items listed like I said I think this the larger dog is listed and then I think everything else I still have to go through and list and take pictures of um, you know but you could see like a couple these pieces from the consignment shop were still wrapped so I didn't I hadn't even opened these after my trip that's how out of it that I was um, but now I'm getting back into the swing of things and I can finally get some of these items listed and probably just in time for Christmas and hope that I can make some Christmas sales. So thank you everybody and um, I'll try to get back on track. Hope the audio is better and thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye.